Hey guys, what's going on? It's the same here again from Handsome Smiles and thank you for joining me on another fragrance related video. So guys, today we're going to be doing a review of a fragrance from the House of Dior. A uh, fragrance from their Le Privé collection and the fragrance I'm reviewing today is Ambre Nui. Guys, Ambre Nui was released in 2009 and is classified as an oriental. As far as notes go guys, you're going to get bergamot, grapefruit, amber, rose and pink pepper. So guys, what do I get from Dior's Ambre Nui? The guys, the opening is a very clean uh, blast of bergamot and grapefruit, which really only lasts for five seconds or so. And then you're introduced with the spiciness from the pink pepper and the rose. In the opening, this fragrance is really spicy. The pink pepper is definitely on the forefront, with the rose being there in the background, giving this fragrance a unique character. After about two to three hours uh, the pink pepper starts to take a back seat and you're joined by the amber which really makes this fragrance very resinous and beautiful uh, the projection in the opening is absolutely fantastic guys the first two to three hours i really feel like this really pushes out uh, i would say it's on a high end of average however when the spiciness starts to die down and the pink pepper starts to take a back seat and the amber comes into play the projection starts getting a little bit soft. Uh, it's still good though. Uh, I would say it's on the very low end of average. Uh, as far as longevity, this one doesn't disappoint, guys. On my skin, it lasted 10 hours every single time. Uh, as far as occasions go, guys, this one really shines as a date scent. This is definitely a fragrance for someone that's quite close to you to enjoy. Definitely great for those romantic dinners with your partner. Also great as a night out scent when you're going out for a meal with friends or family. Uh, I can even see this working really well as a formal scent when you're dressed up slightly. As far as uh, season goes guys, this works great in the fall. Definitely a nighttime scent in my opinion, but you could also pull it off in the day. Uh, I can really even see it working on a cool spring day. But for me this is perfect for a fall or autumn nighttime wear. Alright guys, let's talk about sprays. Uh, for me, I do three sprays uh, of this fragrance. I do three to the chest and two to the neck, and that's perfect for me. As far as age group goes, for me, this really suits any age, really. Anyone can pull this off, male or female. Uh, but uh, the way it smells, the way it projects, what it invokes, the classiness, the elegance, I feel it works for someone that's 25 and above. This is definitely not a juvenile scent, but it's not a very mature scent either. It's a beautiful uh, scent for anyone above the age of 25 or anyone that is quite that is trying to invoke some sort of maturity. Uh, as far as positive and negatives go, guys, if we start off with the negatives, uh, I can't really think of any massive negatives of this fragrance. Some may find the projection to be on the lower end of average or quite weak for them. But for me, this is this is actually a positive. The softer projection really works well for it being a great romantic or a date type of a fragrance. As far as positives goes, guys, this is a very uh, good introduction into rose-based fragrances. Uh, probably one of the best and safest rose fragrances you'll find on the market today. The scent itself is beautiful, it's a great compliment getter and is a fantastic choice as a date or romantic scent. Overall rating guys, this fragrance for me gets a 4 out of 5, it's a beautiful masterpiece from the house of Christian Dior. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this review, if you have then make sure you give me a like or a comment below, and if you haven't subscribed to my channel then make sure you do. Anyways guys, until next time, see you.